if you have been advertising on facebook you must have noticed the changes on the ads manager interface now these changes has gotten a lot of people confused they don't know which of the objectives is going to give them the best results they don't even, they don't even know how to navigate across these objectives so i'm, I'm creating this video to you know just to just oppose right i'm creating this video to let you know how to make use of different objectives in this new ads interface okay we're going to compare this objective with the previous we're going to compare this interface with the previous ads manager interface and i'm going to explain what what each of these represents and how you can proceed with all of this okay now if you look this is the new ads manager interface compared to the one we had before right this was what the ads manager used to look like before this was what the Facebook ads manager used to look like before. By the way, you are welcome to my channel. My name is Courage. I would ask you to please give this video a thumbs up, just like the video so that more people get to see my video. If you are new on this channel and you would like to see more content like this, more content on advertising, e-commerce, affiliate marketing, dropshipping, how to make money online and stuff like that, you may want to consider subscribing to my channel and also turn on the bell icon so you get to be among the first to be notified whenever I publish videos. So without wasting time, guys, let's dive in. So like I said, this was the previous ads manager interface that everyone had, okay? On this left side, you see the awareness. Under the awareness, you had the brand awareness and reach, okay? On the new interface, you have the awareness here. And under the awareness, if you look at the right side here, if you put your cursor here on the right side below, on this way, under the awareness, you will see that it has reach, brand awareness, exactly the same thing, all right? And then they now added video views and store location awareness to the interface. They now moved the video views and the store location awareness. They moved it into the awareness campaign. In this previous interface here, we have under awareness, we had just brand awareness and reach. But in this new interface, under awareness, you have, it said good for reach, brand awareness, video views and store location awareness you need to take um you need to take recognition of this stuff okay now this is the traffic so on that traffic you have link clicks landing page views messenger and whatsapp and calls of course it's the same thing with the previous one traffic here under this traffic it's the same thing traffic is to promote your blog to promote your offers to you know just to drive um to get to drive traffic to your blog or to get email opt-ins and leads and stuff like that right that is what traffic is about so you can see that in the new interface in this old interface we had brand awareness and reach but in the new interface they moved video views into brand awareness and they also moved store visit here into brand awareness so the next is engagement. So when you put your, when you place your cursor pad here, always look at this right side here to see what is there. That is what it represents. So engagement, under engagement, they say it is good for what? For Messenger, for WhatsApp, for Instagram Direct, okay? Video views also, okay? Post engagement and they said it's conversion, but don't use this as conversion metrics. It, it, is, it is deceitful, okay? just like the engagement is for this one too. So the next one here is leads, leads campaign. Leads is good for, you know, for generating leads, just like for real estate businesses and advertising, right? So leads is good for, as you can see, instant form, messenger, conversions, and calls. So you can use leads to, you know, get the instant form, uh, messenger conversions and calls but mostly if you are into the real estate uh, space you should be using more of leads because you're going to be generating more leads and then um, you know speaking of following up with your leads and converting them also you can use leads to get people to message you on whatsapp or on different uh, uh platforms okay the next is app promotion if you observe closely closely sorry in the previous interface what we had was app installs app installs 
But in this new interface, what is there is app promotions. So this works for app installs and app events, as you can see clearly here. App promotion, under it you have app installs and app events. So if you want people to install your app or if you want to track events or activities that people are taking, the actions that people are taking in your app, this is where you begin to track those events and target people based on the activities or actions they take within your app. All right. And then the final one here you can see is sales, which signifies the same thing as this one, conversions objective in the previous interface, right? Conversions objective. Here it is simply known as sales. So if you observe clearly here, you will see that in the previous interface, we had catalog sales, we have conversion, catalog sales, store visit. But in this new one, under sales, they've moved the store visit to under awareness. You can see it now, store location awareness, right? There's no more under sales. So what you have here is conversions, the same thing, catalog sales, then messenger and WhatsApp, which means that in this new interface, you can use the sales objective, which is which stands as conversion, to send people to your WhatsApp. Before, in this uh, old interface, you could not do that for WhatsApp. You needed a landing page, you needed a, a funnel to funnel people. But now, Facebook is trying to make WhatsApp a more powerful tool, a more powerful commerce tool. Okay. Facebook is working really hard to make commerce a, to make WhatsApp a, a more powerful commerce tool. And that's why they are releasing some cool and amazing features uh, within the WhatsApp business ecosystem. Okay. So if you want to generate sales on your Instagram, on your Facebook, on Instagram DM, Facebook Messenger, on WhatsApp, then you can use the sales objective. Okay. Can use the sales objective okay now this works for conversion if you want to send people to your website to go and take an action this action is usually purchase okay it also works for catalog sales catalog sales we have catalogs to display to sell all right and it works for messenger and whatsapp so as a small business owner who do not have a website your sales is actually via instagram or via whatsapp then you can use this sales objective so that your advert is going to be shown to people who are most likely to buy what you sell. That is why Facebook has categorized this under the sales objective. All right. As you can see above here, they said we've made an update. We've made an update to the campaign objectives to make it easier to find one that aligns with your business goal. Here are what you can expect. Okay all the same functionality like i said all the all the features everything is the same just a little reshuffling but it's pretty much the same thing okay no change to existing campaign at this time there's no change all right so they will help you find new objectives that matches your old one so this is it here so you can use your whatsapp and your messenger now this is the only place where there are changes after this place, at the ad set level and at the ad level, everything is pretty much the same. Except for catalog sales that changed a bit, a little bit at the ad set level. All right. So do not be scared. Do not be worried. These things are pretty much the same thing, just different interface, but they represent the same work, the same functionality and the same objectives. If you want to drive traffic to your blog or to your site to increase uh, your leads, whatever it is, you can use the traffic objective here. You can use the engagement objective if you are a comedian, if you are someone who just wants to go viral to get more engagement or be social proof, you can use engagement objective. If you're also a comedian or a skit maker who wants your skit to go viral, people to watch, you can use the video views under awareness because you are now creating awareness for yourself, awareness for your brand, awareness for your skits, for your skills, right? So under awareness, you can just select video views as you can see on the right side here, okay? Then for leads, you can use the instant form, which is the form that instantly opens up on Facebook when somebody clicks on your advert. That is for real estate people, right? Even for affiliate marketing to generate leads, right? But for affiliate marketing, it is always better that you use the sales objective. For a small business owner who, who, are, who is using WhatsApp or Instagram to make sales, use the sales objective and then 
at the ad set level, you select WhatsApp. Let's take, for instance, I select this sales objective. Okay. And then I come down here. I name this campaign, do everything. I can just click on continue. Then come down here to the ad set level. Guys, if you have any question, feel free to ask me. I'll be happy to answer you in the comment section below. So when you come under the asset level, you can see what websites, app, web and app, messenger, okay, and WhatsApp. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I will see you in my next video. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share with those who find it helpful and see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.